And another very similar game situation, I think G2 likely to play for the swap at this point. Can play standard lanes and not be too concerned, but Fnatic are very much ready for this event. This is big from G2 because now Yike can set up for the repeat gank. It should have cost them more. BB making the aggressive level one play, but they play it phenomenally. And now Noah's got nowhere to go. Flash forward, the knock up, the chompers, the play back. Noah's now running. G2 gonna turn away. Jun just trying to get the hell out of dodge. One more auto from Hansama should finish it. Level three for Noah tries to get a bit of damage back. It takes longer than expected, Ooh. but first blood for Hansama coming through. And this was the other part that we didn't get to hit on. The fact that Raz is out of the map, but he will just back away from Humanoid. But that meant that Yike knew there was nobody who's going to answer him when he went for that play on bot side. And G2 say, you wanted standard laning, this is what it comes to. Raz trying to keep his mid laner alive. Caps and Humanoid locked into 1v1. The jungler is a bit of the same. Unravel oh, Earth and flash away from Humanoid. Clean thus far, but he needs to get Soldier up. Razzler coming in to try and finish the job. The minion! The scuttle crab! Blocking his escape, an ally to Fnatic, no doubt. Razzler trying to get the stun. Broken Blade can now look to come in. The elastic slingshot, where's it gonna go? Does he want to commit on a humanoid? The answer is yes. He autos the tower, he brings it back in Psycho. He flashes and he lives. He's out of there. What a play. This is the standard lanes that we were missing, <laughs> gentlemen. Thank God, we got a panic. <laughs> Wait, humanoid's oh, not humanoid, human. he doesn't have flash, no remember. Flash. He's walking the wrong way. The flickback's already hit, and that's a Rek'Sai coming over the wall. Mickey going in as well. Nice slide and glide. But can he get away to safety is the question. Volley Bear is on his way. Humanoid trying to create space Battle between him and Yike. Speed. But Razork is powerful. Is going to find the stun. That's going to be big damage on a Yike. Another flick back connecting. Do they have the follow-up damage to finish off Humanoid? The 2v2 stronger overall for the side of Fnatic. Not quite enough for Razork to body block everything. Caps able to finish the job with auto attacks. But now Fnatic descending upon Broken Blade. They find the stun. Oscar looking to follow up with a Q3. They need to interrupt this elastic slingshot shot if they want to try and find the kill. Broken Blade kept his passive in the previous play. But there's nowhere or no one around, excuse me, to support him. Fnatic dominate on the top side river. It's an overcommitment from G2 this time. They chase. Hans has a pretty sizable advantage this early on against the Varus lane, which you don't typically see considering the scaling element of the Jinx. But in the top side of the map, it's all Oscar. He's finding advantage. Ulti He's going to find through. another one. No passive for Broken Blade. He goes in, he goes out. And this is exactly what I was just talking about. 2 0. When Hans Sam and Mickey were still on that bottom side as Jun ran roamed up towards the early skirmish, but Mickey now spotted as Razork finds him. Play on a Razork, hook not gonna connect, Yike fishing for the follow-up. Razork's gonna walk away for now. Flash forward, the Lantern, Unraveled Earth gonna get laid down, flick back on Razork is clean. Knock up there as well from Yike. First kill to give it over to Hansama, he's getting excited. The resets are now coming through, he's looking for one more onto Noah. Jun trying to body block everything he can, the clans comes out a little bit late. Knock up there, Noah gonna get knocked down, and oh boy, baby, Hansama, three kills in eight minutes. Six. He knows that Oscar can just interrupt in mid-flight. With the Cassante W. Broken Blade Wait, going he in. Can't does he TP? Yeah, does he, he TP? Can't. He can't. No, he's no just way. buying time. I think he's just trying to stall he's the wave. He's trying to get the wave. He knows as long as it's just Razork, he doesn't do enough damage. Now he's going under the tower, trying to backstep, gets one more blob, goes in, just uh, deletes most of that wave, and will at least Ew. stop him. If they blind predict that Oscar's gone, oh, that's gonna be embarrassing, that's gonna hurt. Flick back, connects onto Noah, immediate hook follow-up. This time there's no cleanse, and now it's a 4-0, Jinx. And there's no flash for Noah to get away from that either. Razark will pick up a consolation prize, the Void Group. Which is paying fruition as Hansama finds himself with a 1.8k gold lead. And Broken Blade wandering in just to oh, harass no, no, Noah. Oh, does oh, good no. damage in the 1v1 as well. The Varus is already so far behind. Broken Blade is too, but you're gonna favor the Zack in this one. Takes a bit more time, perhaps a rushing strike. No, that's going to be a flash, a little unstable matter. Insult to injury here on the bottom Into side. the game for Oscar Rinnan as well. So the BB getting to collect that and get the kill is massive. And there oh, is the uh, TP response. Going to be in trouble again, Jun. Can he turn this play back? TP advantage, Broken Blade on the way in. Looking to rinse and repeat what happened earlier. Stretching strikes, Otto's the minion, pulls him back. Mickey and Han Sama on the way in. They're going to take their time deciding who they want to donate this to. It will be Han Sama. But Noah, I mean, the focus shut down. Oh. Humanoid finds the angle in mid lane. He and Raz work desperate to get back a bigger lead. A much needed play for Fnatic as Noah is being ruthlessly bullied. You highlighted. Oh, they'll be starting to push Nice idea there to slow them down. G2 continuing to push in bot lane. Oscar, very tanky individual, but is he tanky enough for the knockup? Yike, ulti is gonna come out. Jun has to do his best to interrupt. Good knock on Yike, denies the play. Nice all out coming in from Oscar. Noah finds the kill. 
Gets a bit of money in the back pocket and a sign of hope for the side. It's important when you look at the gold at the top of your screen, you see a 700 gold difference, but it's more important to look at the individual differences in lane. As Yike caught out here from Fnatic, they find an excellent pick. Bit more control, bit more gold back for them. And again, Hansama is the gold for G2. If they kill this Jinx, Fnatic are favored in every single fight. And now they're already looking to get themselves a pretty sizable lead, leveraging the Herald, leveraging the pick they found onto Yike. Love this from Fnatic. Great pick. A second one onto Yike. They, uh, they secure the bottom tower. They're going to convert it into another. The Dragon spawns in a minute's time. G2, are they really going to try and force this fight? The Herald is just walking off. Broken Way walking up. Mickey gonna get locked down, they're gonna delete him right as the fight starts. Broken Boy debating. Steps up, finds the auto, pullback doesn't really mean anything. G2. Very questionable engage that Worse outside, Humanoid might be the next point of pressure for G2 though as they try to trade the yes. presence on boss to top. Trying to push away, nice flash backwards, Unraveled Earth, looking for the setup. Humanoid just barely able to walk away on that one. Broken Blade now TPing in, but here comes Oscar Ren, and that's a damn strong Cassante. They're gonna have to respect it. Four members for G2. Should just break the tower, knowing they've got the Drake in the meantime. Ultimately, the trade of the tier two, but G2 want to keep fishing. Flash forward, knock him on the human on Hansama getting excited. One reset now coming through. Extra damage onto Oscar. Noah off to the side, just not really doing much damage yet. The Fnatic holding on. G2 get the tier two, they get the kill. Body Bear in the mid lane, gonna get the no meat. of a game four. Either side with an insurmountable advantage. Mickey stepping up. Good hook onto Jun. Play backwards, but Jun dashes out to safety. Immediate Mikhail. Mickey's kicking himself, but caps the one who's caught out. Broken Blade not doing a whole heck of a lot. Hansama trying to auto over the wall, but he hasn't found the reset quite yet. Ghosting now through the fight. If he finds one, they're likely to take more. Yikes still living. The reset's now going to start coming through. Flashback from Noah trying to stay standing, but Hansama, look at that attack speed. Oscar Renan, the frontliner, the one protecting the rest of this fight for Fnatic. Push away. Fight fizzles. Two for one exchange in favor of Fnatic, only Humanoid gonna die in the play. Great pick. The Jinx truly terrifying. Fourth item Lord Dominix feels like the death sentence for Fnatic. The wall now coming in. Noah caught out, manages to make it to the other side, but now he's locked in the 1v1 versus Caps. Trying to find the good sidesteps, will make it away, but just doesn't have enough HP. Shut down for G2. Clean pick in the middle lane. Broken Blade though, over committing on this one. Walks back to the wall to try to get support from the rest of the team. Fnatic caught in the 4v5, hoping to pick off Broken Blade. Pushback from Humanoid is not what they needed. Does not connect. G2 happy to walk away, happy to run towards the Baron, knowing that major cooldown is not available. Broken Blades E coming up at just the right time, and Humanoid whiffs the ulti, gives way for G2 to start off the Baron. Noah still 12 seconds away. Razzle needs to find the type of play that Yike found earlier today. Guys, the ult, he can get into the pit. Oscar, Oscar takes absolutely no damage. Good poke now coming in. Broken Blade trying to disrupt the backline. All of G2 immediately turn off the objective. Oscar pulling Broken Blade back, but he's not hitting the backline targets he wants to be. Endless CC from the Zack and the Rek'Sai. Hansama now dominating the front line, freeing up so much space for him to do his work. Jun running, trying to peel for Oscar. Noah now coming in, but Oscar drops. Jun drops, and Noah is not strong enough to face the wrath of Five members of G2, nobody's gonna drop, and they're gonna go right back to the Baron. G2 find the fight that they needed. They get onto Humanoid. They deny Fnatic access to the pit. Now, it is really hard for Fnatic. They're at a huge deficit. G2 don't want to give up this Drake. Caps is already pushed in the mid lane wave. Wall coming from behind. Noah again isolated the front line. Can they protect him? Backstep from him is good. Seismic shove not going to do much, but Broken Blade again is just completely unkillable. And Hansama has already gotten a reset. Four members of Fnatic retreating, grouped up. Yike looking for a way to knock them up. Unstoppable from Cassante. The scoop now coming Humanoid. in. Humanoid wants to keep this game going. Jordan Oscar still standing strong, and that Cassante is powerful. G2 overestimate themselves in the face of Fnatic, in the face of Oscar. Oscar, they come up short. Humanoid saves the day for Fnatic. Humanoid ascends to Godhood with the shuffle to connect onto Hansama to rip the game out of G2's hands and present it kindly. At Killing the Oscar. And how many times have you seen Fnatic been able to rely on Humanoids? Another rely on this is here. Cops trying to force them back, but they're going in. He's looking to lock up Hansama. He's got CC. No hesitation from Fnatic. In the of elimination, they will make the play work. Caps on the back side of the fight, set to fall now, knocks down Oscar. But it's still, overall, it's close, it's a 3v3.
Yike, Broken Blade. Can they find the angle? Can oh, they keep this fight going? Q3 going through. Oscar should be able to take over, but they have to try and limit it. Razor trying to find the healing. A little bit extra coming forward. The shielding now going in as well. Oscar stepping in, but he doesn't have the damage. He doesn't have the ability to stick on these targets. They're slowly but surely trying to win out on the fight. Unstoppable now. Interrupts. Pulls away. Mickey should just be able to shut through that health. It's all eyes on Oscar. Oscar and John versus the world. Oscar and John to hold on to hope for Fnatic as G2 desperately try to claw this fight back. Who's dying? No one is dying except for Jun, maybe. Finally, they will take down the Rakan. Jun's got nowhere to go. The pullback is not enough. Jun escaping. Are you kidding me? He will die in the end. The Jinx Rocket sidestep. This man refuses to drop. It's the tower who takes him in the end. My God, what a fight. There's not even any. Fnatic will need to answer soon, but it's not too scary for the time being. 50 seconds until Dragon. It's a tense moment between these teams. 20 kills to 23. The bloodshed is real. Here comes Broken Blade on the flank. Ulti going wide. Push back. Denying Broken Blade access to the back line. All Fnatic now need to retreat. Oscar buying as much base as humanly possible. But Han Sama does a lot of work here. Unstoppable now as he pulls Yike away. Oscar now trying to escape. The blobs on the ground for Broken Blade. It looks like it's just going to be a one for one. Frontline for frontline. But the TP is there for G2. They will keep their top laner standing. Noah over the wall can do absolutely nothing. And it's just Jinx taking over a quadra for Han Sama. They're hunting Another for Penta. the Penta. A bit of cruel irony for Noah. He was on the opposite side of this yesterday. Now he'll have to come face to face with the fact that it's Han Sama who is slowly walking him down. Han Sama who is securing the pentakill with G2 at match point. Two pentakills in this series for G2, but Han Sama able to secure another and with what might be their fourth title in a row on the line, G2 find the team fight that they need and both objectives. G2 are able to find the fight. The I All he's doing is getting these little bits of information for G2 to make sure that they don't get caught out. Weaver's wall, Jun off on one side, taking his time, does not want to burn any resources he doesn't have to. That's the wave stepping up. Instant engage. Now coming in. Han Sama on the backside, still untouched, but Jun goes in. There's no fall off the pushback from Humanoid. It's good. It looks like they're trying to take down the back line, but Humanoid is already down. And Han Sama is at full HP. That's going to be it. The double for Hans. G2 don't have a wave, but I don't think it matters. Breaking down the towers and looking to end it here. G2 have gone and done it again. Humanoid tried his best, but his best was not enough. As long as Hans is alive, G2 will make a beeline towards the base to round out this series. But going in. A last desperate hold from the bottom lane of Fnatic. It should not be enough. There's no way they can do this. Noah goes in trying to kill Caps. He'll get at least one. But as long as Hansama is standing, G2 know that they have the win. He's taken down John as well. And for the fourth time in the organization's history, they're going to get four titles back to back to back to back. They will secure first seed in MSI, and they will lift the Spring Split Shield. An overall impressive split, split from G2. Their regular season was shaky at times, but in playoffs... Incredible stuff from G2 as they lift the trophy. It was hard fought, Fnatic really did not want to give them that game four. But G2, once again, are the champions of Europe. Heroic performance.